Uh, but, but I'm not a doubting Thomas because I was I was certain that our caucus was ready to embrace significant change. I'm also proud of, of my caucus for their emphatic statement with this budget that we're no longer going to postpone the tough decisions. I'm a proven conservative and won't sit on the bench and watch when I'm serving in the Senate. I'm always going to be on the front lines fighting for the values that we hold here. Well, Jerry, I'll tell you, this is the summer of scandal here at the State House. Two drunk driving citations, a domestic violence call, plus a resignation. 34 year old Chris Jordan was elected to the State Senate last November, representing Delaware and four other counties. But an incident at his home nine days ago is raising questions about his political future. Melissa Jordan stood side by side with her husband Chris as he was sworn in as state senator. But the politician who professes family values is now the subject of a domestic violence investigation. Melissa is in politics herself, appointed this year as the Delaware County Recorder. Two Monday nights ago, she called 911 from their Powell condo. The line disconnected, then the dispatcher called back. Just, just please get somebody here. I need police. I need police here, please. By this time, deputies were already on their way to the condo. This is the first time I've ever called. He's done this a lot. I don't, I can't put up with it anymore. Okay. He's walking away. He's had some drinks. He, he was pushing me around, throwing stuff. Because I called you, he wants, he said it's over. Chris Jordan's Republican Senate colleagues were not talking too much today. Only that, we're aware of the situation, but no charges have been filed, so we're not going to comment or speculate. And I think we need to start making tough decisions today and not wait, uh, until it's too late to make those tough decisions. I'm always going to be on the front lines. Fighting for the values 